Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Terraform Bootcamp or Terraform Tutorial for Beginners. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to secure your AWS credentials inside a code which is written in Terraform. All right. But uh, before moving further, you know the drill, can you subscribe to the channel because that would really support me to create more content like this. All right. So let's just dive right into the video. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is there are actually multiple ways to secure your AWS credentials inside a Terraform script or other ways. But uh, the first one would be environment variables. The second one would be AWS CLI and the third one would be what? In this video, we're not going to talk about environment variables and the vault way of doing it. We're going to talk about the AWS CLI way of doing it and we're going to take a demo for it. All right. So that being said, let us dive right into the demo part. Okay, before moving further, I would like to show you a few things. So this is environment variables to configure the AWS CLI. This is a page, uh, this is docs.aws.amazon.com. This is from the official website of Amazon. And uh, environment variables provide another way to specify configuration options and credentials and can be useful for scripting or temporarily setting a name profile as the default. So there are multiple ways of doing it. And this is one of those. The second one which I was talking about is AWS CLI supported environment variables, this and this. And there are other things as well. I'm going to link this in the description section of this video. But uh, let's just uh, walk through it. Um, so these are the main things that I want to tell that how to set when environment variables. So if you have a Linux or a Mac OS system, then you have to use export. Uh, this is kind of a keyword uh, for it. So try to use this only and do not enter anything. Then you can enter your AWS access key, which we talked about, and then the secret key here, and then the region, whatever region you are using as the default region. All right. So uh, export is used for Linux and Mac OS, but for Windows system, set X AWS access key. Same thing, exactly same thing. It's just the keyword. This is set X for Linux and Mac OS. It's export. And if you're using PowerShell, you can uh, type something like this. All right. So this is how you do it. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the AWS command line interface. Again, I'm going to link it in the description section of this video. AWS command line interface, what exactly it is, the AWS command line interface is a unified tool to manage your AWS services with just one tool to download and configure. You can control multiple AWS services from the command line and automate them through scripts. There are multiple things available over here. You can use this. All right. So for that, uh, I'm using a Windows system in this whole course. So you can use uh, this Mac OS if you want to use this package. If you want to download from the Linux, you can use this Linux installer. Okay, just click on the 64 bit and then go to your downloads and then just save it. Once that is done, click on that. And it will open a folder for you. It will look something like this and then Please wait while the setup wizard prepares to guide you through the installation, migrating fe feature states from related, uh, a lot of things. Just click on next. I accept the terms next, next install. It did ask for uh, permission for installing it. Just click on yes. It'll take its own sweet time. Uh, let me, let's just wait or you can just uh, watch this video in 1.5x. Okay, so this is done. Just click on finish and this is good to go. Okay, so I'll just type visual studio code. It'll open something like this. Uh, I'm not putting anything over here because I've already removed it. So what you can do is once the system, all you have to type is AWS on the curve. That's all. Hit enter. It's going to ask you an AWS access key. So this is the access key which you were using before. Okay, I'll just copy that. I'll blur this part. Uh, but you can use yours. Hit enter. After that, it's going to ask you the secret key. Copy the secret key that you have. Put it over there. Hit enter. And then it is going to ask a default region name. If you have a default region, uh, you can put it. Uh, I will put it for now US East hyphen two. This is this should be fine. Okay, I'll post West. Hit enter default outform. If you want anything, you can pick JSON or something. That, that would be fine. And yeah, I think we are good to go. Now, this is everything uh, we have set it up over here. So whatever 
uh, ID you had over here, whatever secret key you had over here, you don't have to take care of anything. Just remove all of this. Okay. Just remove this. And just save this. Now let's see what happens if we do Terraform plan over here. Terraform plan. Hit enter. It is saying no configuration uh, files. Okay. So it looks like the file is in first infra. So we'll do first infra. Hit enter. Let me just clear this. Perfect. Let's do Terraform plan and let's see if it's going to do anything. It has done some lock over here and you can see that it has picked the Terraform credentials from uh, using uh, from from the folder that has been created. So what what AWS CLI will do it, it will create a hidden folder inside your home directory. This directory will have your credentials saved. How it does, uh, that's that's a topic for uh, for some other day. But right now you have not given anything in the provider over here. Everything is now uh, saved somewhere in the folder and it is getting picked up from there. All right. So if I give Terraform, uh, I've already given plan. If I'm going to Terraform, let's see if something happens. Okay, it's asking for entering a value. Let's click on yes, and then it will start creating. For the same thing, what we'll do is we'll open our AWS account. It's asking for a sign in. Let me next. Let me just log in quickly. Okay, so the login has been done. Let's see what is happening over here. It is creating creation complete. So VPC has been uh, created. Let's go there. We'll go to VPC over here. You can see then Asia Pacific, this one, three subnet chart table, this and this, this and this. Let's go inside VPCs and you can see this is done. Oh, this is Mumbai region. Let me change. It was US West 2, if I remember correctly. Okay. Yeah, it was US West 2. So US West 2 is Oregon and you can see this uh, 10.0.0.0/16 has been created. And where it is coming from? It is coming from here. Okay, so that's how it happens. So I hope you have understood this part, folks, because uh, in this video, we have talked about the uh, securing our credentials. And this is now the code can be pushed into the repository and you will see that there is no credentials over here. Credentials are in my local. So this is one way of doing it. So uh, I hope you have understood it. Feel free to comment below if you haven't understood anything. And for the time being, what I'll do is I'll just destroy this and yeah, I'll just destroy this. It will last me for destroying the stuff and uh, let me do it. Okay, I'll just destroy it. And if there is anything, feel free to comment below and we will address that. So thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next one.